Well, we have been reliably informed by all the best sources, all the most important people, that there are no real differences between men and women. I don't just mean mental differences, I mean physical differences. And that's why transgender women, meaning biological men, should be able to compete alongside women in normal sporting events. I mean, obviously. And that's why we are so proud to welcome to the program Zuby. Zuby is a rapper, he's an Oxford graduate over in Britain, and he just set the British women's deadlift record. It's an amazing achievement, particularly since Zuby is a temporary transgender woman. Here's a little bit of, of the video, what it sounded like when, when she lifted some 600 pounds, deadlifted some 600 pounds. I mean, so impressive. That, that is a lot of weight. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a, that's a big weight. I mean, 600 pounds is a lot of weight. And in fact, the world record, not the UK record, the world record deadlift for women is 672 pounds. The world record deadlift for men is 1,100 pounds. So if Zuby had been a man, we'd been like, nice deadlift, dude, but that's like not, that's about like 55% of the world record for men. But fortunately for Zuby, he was in fact a woman at the time that he performed this, this amazing feat of athletic achievement. Zuby, thanks so much for joining the Ben Shapiro Show. Hey, how's it going, Ben? <laughs> so, I mean, I know a lot of our <laughs> listeners right now are sitting around thinking, Zuby, you don't sound super ladylike. What made you decide to become a woman to lift this sort of weight? Well, you know, I mean, I was seeing the conversations around there not being any, any physical difference and the idea that one can simply identify as whatever they want, not even, not even permanently, even um, just, you know, based on your emotions and feelings at the time. So I had a quick look at the British female deadlift record and I was like, you know, I, I know I can smash that. I've done it before. So I thought I'd just post up that little clip on my Twitter to uh, make a little point. And uh, it looks like it struck a nerve. Yeah, well, it, it turns out that not only did you break that female record, you basically broke like all the female <laughs> records in one game <laughs> session. So, which other which other female records did you did you break while you were a female? Um, I I did the bench press one. I did um, three reps with more than the current record. So I'm now the holder, the the world record hold. No, sorry, British powerlifting record holder in the um, in the bench press for women. And um, I wasn't able to squat at the time, but um, I think I could take on the squat one too. So let, let me ask you this. Are you planning on actually appealing for the record books to, to try and get into the record books in Britain? <laughs> I, I, wasn't, I wasn't planning on, on taking it that far, um, but it certainly spurred up a lot of interesting debate, both nationally and internationally. So um, it, it's, it's really interesting because this is something I said a few years ago that I, I kind of predicted was going to happen. So it's it's really interesting to see these conversations taking place right now because it's um, frankly it's 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 kind of ridiculous to be frank. And I think that the reason the video resonated is because it really it really showed people. You know, I mean, I, I'm not even a professional. I'm not a professional lifter. I'm a professional musician. So if a recreational lifter such as myself can uh, set those kind of records in the women's division, I think it should you know, show people what the what the difference is and why that might be an idea people want to reconsider. And, and of course, it's important to note here that this is not meant to, and none of this is meant to mock people who are actually transgender. This is meant to mock the idea that men and women are not biologically different, of course. Yeah, of course. You know, I have nothing against any individual nor any group, but uh, biological differences are important. We've known that they exist for millennia, and so I don't think in 2019 we should suddenly forget about that, partic particularly when it comes to sport, because there could be some very serious implications um, for women's sport if that is allowed. Well, the Olympics has just decided now that women who are transgender, meaning tra men who, biological men, should be able to compete alongside women. It'll be fascinating to see how that plays out, particularly in sports that rely a lot on upper body strength. Well, Zubi, I wanted to ask a little bit about your background because it, it, it's a bit of an unusual background. You're a rapper and an Oxford graduate, and obviously you're sort of a heterodox thinker. So what, what shaped your thinking? That's, that's a good question, Ben. Um, so I, I've got an interesting background. So my family is originally from Nigeria, both my parents are Nigerian, but um, I was born in the UK and I actually grew up in Saudi Arabia. Uh, you'll hear in my accent, I don't necessarily sound British. That's because I went to an American school out there for a while. So I've kind of grown up amongst a whole bunch of different cultures. It's given me a really different global perspective, shall we say. Um, and it's just given me, uh, it's, you know, just helped to shape my views. And then of course, studying both in Saudi Arabia and then coming over to the UK, being in both the American and the British school systems, going to Oxford, all that kind of stuff. And I've always just had a different way of thinking. I've always been a really creative guy. Um, and uh, the way my mind works and the way I see the world always seems to be quite different to a lot of people around me. 
So I, um, I, I would be remiss if I did not ask you to try to convert me on rap, Zuby, because I have famously said that I do not <laughs> think rap is music and that I am not a big rap fan. So I'm going to need you to give me, okay. in, in a nutshell, what is, the, what is the case for rap as music? What is the case for rap as music? <laughs> wow, wow, that, that is a, that's big, Ben, that's big. Well, I, th I, think you need to, I think you need to listen to the right stuff. I think you might actually like some of my music. If you're put off by the profanity and some of the negative messages and stuff like that, which I, I, I think I know you are, then um, I can assure you that my music is not about that. It's about inspiring people. It's about being motivational. It's about being positive. And uh, I find a lot of people do say, I don't normally listen to hip hop, but I like your music. So well, who knows, maybe if you're interested in that. checking out Zuby's music, go check him out at zubimusic.com. Rapper, Oxford graduate, and now female UK record holder in a wide variety of strength, uh, of strength <laughs> competitions. Zuby, thanks so much for joining the Ben Shapiro Show. Really appreciate your time, dude. Thanks, or Madam. Have a good one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>